Hey guys, I'm going to do another review. I'm going to be reviewing the new Quentin Tarantino movie, the new Quentin Tarantino movie, Django Unchained, featuring Christoph Waltz, Jamie Foxx, Samuel L. Jackson, and Leonardo DiCaprio. And we also got a cameo from Don Johnson of Miami Vice fame. Sweet. A German bounty hunter comes to the U.S. posing as a dentist. He enlists the help of a slave by the name of Django to help him catch and kill the three Brittle brothers. In exchange, the bounty hunter assists Django in rescuing his wife by plantation owner Calvin Candy. So, that's say the good stuff of this movie. Well, the performances are good. The people that stand out to me... Well, the person that stands out to me is Christoph Waltz and Samuel L. Jackson. Both are scene stealers. Christoph Waltz more than deserved the Oscar win and nomination. And Samuel L. Jackson can do no wrong in my eyes. He can make crap look good. Also what's great is the excellent photography by Robert Richardson. It's some of his best work. He uses terrific colors, and breathtaking landscapes. Photography. I'm kind of disappointed that he didn't get nominated for an Oscar, but I'm not surprised because he won not that long ago for Hugo. Also, the Christoph Waltz character is pretty interesting in the fact that he will show in the fact that he's ruthless, but he does have a sense of morals. You can see it in his facial expressions and how the slaves are being treated. Also, he tries to save some. He's a very well done character, I'd say. Django, on the other hand, to me, is just uninteresting. His quest is compelling, but I'm not sure what it is. He just didn't catch my fancy. And other stuff I like in the movie is how the KKK are portrayed as uh, bickering idiots that like in the scene when they're arguing over the holes in the back that they were over their heads when they're about to do a raid so thank you QT for um, showing racist people and not you uh, sophisticated light <clears throat> and uh, well the gore is always great you know I'm a bloodhound also, I like how QT shows restraint in the Mandingo scenes. It makes it look painful. And that's pretty well done. Now, what I don't care for. Number one, Django is a boring character. Two, the movie overstays its welcome. Also, QT is madly in love with his dialogue, and the dialogue's not as interesting as it is in his other movies. There's a few exceptions, and there are parts that make me chuckle, but there are some parts that, like the movie, go on longer than they need to. The most... The best example of this is the dinner scene with Leonardo DiCaprio. The dinner scene does set up an, a very well-done plot thread, as in the capture of Django, but sweet Jesus, I could feel myself die! Oh my lord. I spent most of my time th looking at my watch and thinking, okay Leo, get on with it, come on, come on. This goes on longer than we need to. So yeah, dialogue's not as good as his other ones. And uh, one last thing I like, well, the Samuel L. Jackson character is also a really interesting one. His loyalty to the Calvin Candy family is interesting. As in, it's interesting what made him that way. And uh, other things I like, I like his literal, I like his allusions to German opera, such as you know, to like a a Wagner opera, when the doctor tells Django how he's like Siegfried going to rescue his wife. I, I like that. That's more interesting than his film allusions. His film kleptomania. So, another thing I should say is there's only one Django, and that is Franco Nero. 
someone else that could come close as Thomas Millian. So, Django Unchained. Is it a good movie? Eh, it's fine. You know, it, it's alright. It's, it's an interesting allusion to spaghetti westerns and black exploitation westerns. The latter half I'm not familiar with. Black Exploitation, I am the Westerns, not so much. Spaghetti Westerns, I am say I'm pretty well versed in it. Beyond Sergio Leone, I've seen Corbucci movies, I've seen Solima movies, I've seen the infamous Julia Quest movie Django Kill. But, you know, you know, it's good. It's good. What I really hope this movie does is, you know, shed some light on these. On some obscure spaghetti westerns, that would be cool. It's a okay movie, worth checking out for diehard QT fans. If not, I would say do whatever. You know, I could really care less about this movie. Thank you.